الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد الله سبحانه وتعالى says في كتابه الكريم regarding the various types of ibadah and ways in which we can come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and please him to baraka wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَأُنِيبُوا إِلَى رَبِّكُمْ وَأَسْلَمُوا وَأَسْلَمُوا لَهُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that unibu meaning to make like a type of repentance, coming back to your Lord from sinfulness. So repenting, coming back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after sinfulness, seeking to draw nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, وَأَسْلِمُوا And then submitting to Him. And you can see the importance of these two acts of ibadah that are mentioned in this ayah. Allah is inviting us and in fact, it is an invitation. It's an order as well as almost an invitation to us to come back to Allah. Because many of us, in fact, probably most of us, have, have gotten far from Allah. Or we find ourselves getting further from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we're outside of Ramadan. We're not doing the acts of ibadah, even the wajib, many of us. Many of us pray sometimes. Many of us do major sins sometimes. And some of us, even more than that, and by the permission and grace of Allah, some of us less than that. Some of us are more in be obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than others. But the point is, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala <coughs> orders us and invites us to His mercy, to come closer to Him by repenting. And seeking to draw nearer to Allah by doing those things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pleases. And as we've mentioned prior to this, that Shaykh al Islam ibn Taymiyyah mentioned that ibadah in general, that worship in general, is doing those things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with and avoiding those things which He's displeased with. Or it's, it's doing those things. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with and that he loves subhanahu wa ta'ala. That that is worship. So by seeking to draw nearer to Allah, by doing those things he is pleased with and those things that he loves and removing ourselves from the sins that we were upon, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is fully aware of and you are aware of. That by doing those things, this is a way that we come closer to Allah and we make, we, we, we fall in that ayah of coming closer to Allah, seeking to repent, seeking His forgiveness, seeking His grace and favor and mercy. And the second part of the ayat is also a command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And whenever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us, or the Prophet sallallahu commands us, it is evidence that that action is an obligation. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us to submit to Him. Aslamuluhu. To after we repent and come closer to Allah, that we submit to His, His will and do those things which pleases Allah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us to be of the Tawabin, wa Mutatahirin, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.